Today, another step forward in the plan to figure out the University of Arizona's financial fiasco. The Arizona Board of Regents has sent a letter to Governor Katie Hobbs with steps it hopes to take to tackle the university's $177 million shortfall. And News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink joins us live from the U of A. And Eric, you've been combing through the plan since it came into our newsroom this afternoon. What does it say? Well, Monica, two weeks ago, Governor Hobbs demanded changes and more transparency. And with this 17 page letter, ABOR trying to do just that. This letter coming earlier this afternoon from ABOR Chair Fred Duvall and the Executive Director of the Arizona Board of Regents, John Arnold. He is also serving as the Interim Chief Financial Officer for the University of Arizona. This letter says that the university is committed to cutting from the top by lowering administrative cost. That is step one for the university. They also say that they want to increase revenue without increasing tuition. The board says it's in final negotiations right now with an outside firm to give third party advice and look at the university's financial uh, finances, particularly in athletics and that online school, UAGC or University of Arizona Global Campus. Each college campus now is expected to come up with a budget plan for fiscal year 2025. And in that plan, they are expected to detail 5 to 10 to 15 percent cuts. The letter also details the Office of the Vice Provost has come up with $27 million in saving by eliminating vacant jobs. And earlier this month, season ticket holders for UFA, UVA athletic events getting a letter that tickets will be uh, going up for several sports, including football and basketball. That is the latest from here at the university. We're live tonight. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. Back to you.